Hey guys, it's the video nobody asked for. Just kidding, I asked for it. I tweeted out the other night, uh, send me pictures of your quarantine meal and I will rate them. And to be honest, you guys did a great job of letting me know that we are fucked. We're not gonna make it past 13 days. But hey, I have faith in us. Almost as much faith as I have in this mustache. This is not good. You might have to zoom in on the screen a little. It's, it's there, it's, it's just zoom in. Looks like somebody just threw an Etch-A-Sketch at my face and like 14 pieces hit my upper lip. So we're going good, dude. Quarantine stash 2020. Let's get into it. Number one, this is, oh my God, this is just a bukkake bowl. How many types of food are in this? Like this just looks like an orgy right here. You know, like when people say like food porn, this isn't food porn. This is the end result. The sad part is in the top left corner, there's like a menu. So this means he ordered this. He went to a restaurant and was like, let me get the one with the semen on it. And they're like, just a second, sir. <laughs> too much, Trevor, too much. What in the fucking nacho cheese heaven going on here? This is a cornucopia of food. I don't even know what cornucopia is. It sounds like a ride at Disneyland. No hate, 10 out of 10. White Claw and cake. Okay, this is just what, a bachelorette party? Egg salad, hot dog, doomsday chef. Miss me with that quarantine. No, trust me, the quarantine wants to miss you. This picture right here makes me wanna go vegan. You got ketchup on steak with bananas and milk. That's just disrespectful to a cow. I wanna go bring that cow back to life just so that cow can beat the shit out of you. I don't know if cows can fight, but they can spell. Shout out Chick-fil-A. They do be spelling. Who knows, maybe I'm missing out. Ketchup and bananas. Sounds like prison. What, who, why, what? No, smooth, but you're not getting a picture of my girl's ass, because this girl's ass is the meal. Homeboy's gonna come out of quarantine with a full beard full of dingleberries. But like, honestly though, after looking at my fridge and my pantry, I might have to eat some ass too. Probably my own, that's weird. I'm not a dog. Could you eat your own ass? Don't, what, what is going on, bro? You're, you're seven days in the quarantine, losing your mind. Ugh, so good. For who? Looks like a dice that was ran over by a cement truck. What is this? Are these cookies? So many things wrong with this. Four cookies, that's it? How long is this gonna last you? Two and a half Geico commercials? Those cookies just look angry. They look tense. They, they wanna come inside, you know? Like, you know, when you've been gone all day and your dog's outside and you finally get home and like, he's just looking at you like, Oh, so, so the movie y'all went to was nine hours? That's crazy, huh? It's so cold out my balls fell off. I done neutered myself. Let me in the house. That's what that looks like. The one positive thing I will say about those cookies, they got their social distance down. Look at the space between them, bro. They're like, hey, 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 hey. Six inches, buddy, six inches, okay? He's resting because he is fatigued. Okay, this is <laughs> beautiful. This is art right here, okay? Why does this pizza look like uh, that one meme, though, where she's waiting on the bed? She just... The longer I look at this picture, the creepier it gets, because uh, this is taken through a window frame. This pizza was asleep. Dreaming about ranch and some other shit. You know, getting all freaky all up in that buttermilk. I feel like a cam girl right now. My room's all empty. I got a camera pointed at me. My pants are off. Anyways, spaghetti jello. No, this, no, 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 no. If two girls, one cup could be a food, it'd be this. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does. I wouldn't even feed that to a pigeon on Venice Beach. I'd be like, you're better than this, bro. You got dreams and aspirations and this will kill you. First of all, when was this picture taken? This looks like every restaurant's first Yelp review picture. You ever seen the first picture on a restaurant's Yelp? It is the grainiest shit ever. It's so funny. This looks like it was taken with a can of beans. I don't know why, but every restaurant's first Yelp review is so like off the walls. Like it has nothing to do with the food. They'll be like, great service, food was okay. My waitress was pregnant. And you're like, fam, how is your waitress pregnant when, when you got Domino's? This is takeout. I think my neighbors are banging, who knows? Maddie, okay, quarantine dinner. It's a banana split in half. Hold on now, Maddie. You may have just done something here, all right? This is one of those things where like, you're like, have I been living my life wrong the whole time? It kind of looks like it, but it looks messy. Here's the problem. When you eat this, you, you got to full on, you got to double, double fist that bitch. You got you to gotta get in there. You might have to, you know, dim the lights a little bit, light a lavender candle. Honey Nut Cheerios on a plate. Fam, this is what the fuck prison are you living in, bro? There's so many problems with this. If you ever wanna eat a box of Honey Nut Cheerios on the low, which I like to do, and you don't want people to think you're insane, don't pour it on a plate, bro. You just gotta go grab it out the pantry while you're watching TV, and people just be like, oh, Tom, he's probably drunk again. He probably meant to grab the Doritos, but got the Cheerios. 
common mistake in this household, all right? Also, go to AA classes, Tom. It's just laid out on a plate like he's about to do some Cheerio cocaine, which would be the weirdest side effect. You're like, I'm so fibered up right now, bro. I'll take the most uh, together shit ever. This, this looks like it was made in an Easy Bake oven that wasn't even on. Oh shit, Cool Ranch Doritos. I call it throw it on the stove and see what we get. Depression, that's what you got right there. What kind of fucking Russian roulette ass meal is this, bro? That looks like a drained soup. Where's the broth? That's all you need to make soup. Ted Bundy out here, crazy. This man got mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, brownies, and chocolate milk. Honestly, bro, fire. Without the chocolate milk, kind of a trash meal, but the chocolate milk being in like a wine glass really is a flex right there. Cause if you just had the plate, people would be like, what are you a stone third grader? Look, I know it's lonely out here in quarantine season, but my man out here on a date with Bluetooth headphones from 2009. This is what you need to be dating, broke boy. Sorry, I didn't mean to flex on you like that, dude. This is not even like a bad meal. Okay, let me zoom in and reassess. Oh, this is a trash ass meal. The only seasoning on this is just atmosphere. Just whatever's floating around the house. This shit right here looks like a dinner you'd find sitting at an already made table at Ikea. You know how they have those fake ass dinners to like sell that it's a dinner table? Cause we just don't know what dinner tables are for. I mean, I don't know if frat guys know what dinner tables are. Frat dudes see a table and instantly just turn into the WWE. They're like, yo, I'm about to Hulk smash that table. They're like, Bryce, no, that's my grandmother's antique. You said, what did you, what did you say about teak? Fuck teak, dude. We only run with pie cap here, dude. Those noodles look antique. Angelic as fuck though, I'd bang. God damn, what the hell is going on here? See, this is a fire plate, but you know what makes it even more fire? It's the leaves in the background. Cause just that plate alone, I'd be like, word, it's a fruit salad up in this bitch. Yummy, yummy, or whatever. Who's the, the people that sang that shit? The Wiggles? They really fell off. Spaghetti and Doritos. Nah, this is spaghetti and Doritos. This is like mixing a four loco with motor oil. That's two separate meals. I don't think you should be eating motor oil. Wow, um, Denise, you're probably a lovely woman and I and, and I admire you. You kind of cute though, uh, but this meal gotta go though. This shit looks like you literally made it in a washing machine without even any tide. Just straight up hot water, maybe even room temperature. Those Brussels sprouts look ready to fight. I'd still eat though. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Somebody just sent a picture of me. Pretty boy. But I said a meal, not a snack. God damn, PW chill, you better chill. My man's making two course meals, bro. Who are you, French Montana? This is me and my Stouffer's lasagna. This is, I don't know if it's the lighting in this picture, but this shit just looked depressing. I mean, look at the lasagna. That lasagna don't want to be there. That lasagna is like, fam, just put me in the asphalt where I belong. Goldfish sandwich, bro. I can't even hate. That's just a dried up charcuterie board right there. Well, I don't think you're gonna make it. Pickles and Fruit Loops. I don't, bro, that sounds like a young thug bar. I put pickles in a Fruit Loop. Got a bad beard, looking like a toot toot. Bars. Uh, Uncrustables. Honestly, bro, this is the best thing I've seen today. You ain't gonna tell me Uncrustables weren't your best friend in fourth grade. Who was it? Just me? All right, probably should have had more friends in fourth grade then. Uncrustables never hurt you. They never did a damn thing to you. They literally cannot hurt you. There's like no edges. A frozen Uncrustable could definitely maybe give you like a mild concussion though. I'll tell you what, a frozen Uncrustable? God damn, bro. I don't know what it is, but you take a little bite and like the peanut butter and the jelly is still a little frozen and it melts in your mouth. God, I'm hard. Um, hard, uh, <clears throat> what, what? What did you just say? Craft singles on saltines. I. This is single-handedly the whitest thing I've ever seen. And I have a mirror. This picture just smells like sunscreen. SPF 75. The kind where you gotta rub it in just to rub it in. Curry, garlic, roses, sweet potato. None of that shit is in there. Too many words. I don't believe that shit. This is just a fucking defrosted hungry man meal. Eggs, bacon, cheeseburger, hot sauce, double patty. That's fire, bro. That's 100%. I don't like the angle of that knife though. Looks like a dick pic. But honestly, in the quarantine, a food pic is a dick pic. So what is this? Deconstructed banana pudding? I goddamn do this. Okay, you might notice the goddamn in that caption. He's probably a Stiff Socks podcast listener, as you should be too, every Wednesday. Spotify, Apple, YouTube, all that jazz. Stiff Socks podcast. Starring me and my boy, Michael Blaustein. I don't know what it is, but adding Parmesan to anything is a flex. You can put Parmesan on anything and make it fancy. You could put Parmesan on a divorce. You know what that is? Depressing. Don't do that. That's probably why they got divorced because you kept throwing Parmesan on your parents. I also don't get the hype on Parmesan. Like it's good in like amounts, but like I go to dinner with my friends and they act like Parmesan 
is like a currency. They're like, yo, this shit free. Yo, put some on, dog. Yo, put, let me get some, let me put some of that shit in my pocket. Yo, y'all got a shovel back there. Yeah, I'll tell you when to stop, bitch. I'll fucking. <laughs> Parmesan just smells like pissed off cheese. Like, if you really think about it, it's just like, it's like sweaty, it's aggressive. Probably because it's so small. I think Parmesan got like that, this, the small cheese energy, you know? Also, people who say mozzarella as mozzarella, are you coming? <sighs> I might have to change my boxers. This shit, <clears throat> gorgeous. Addison, you better chill out here. That's a beautiful ass plate. Unless you want to get wiped up by somebody on the internet, you better delete that shit right now. Long bread. I don't know why, but I'm aroused by this. So, 10 out of 10. Bottle of vodka and waffles. Sounds like my sophomore year in college. This motherfucker kills people. A four loco gold. I, I feel like you're ready for the apocalypse, to be honest. Like, if the world's ending and you cracked a four loco right in front of the world's face, the world will be like, all right, all right. Let's talk it out. Especially since it's a gold four loco. I've never had a gold four loco. That probably explains why I don't have any felonies. White claws and Doritos. This is how frat dudes meal prep on chest and back day. Scallops at a time like this. Why do you guys do this to me? What what is this? Hot Cheetos and milk? Dude, if you had this legit, your stomach would crawl out of your esophagus and just walk to the bus stop and be like, all right, Robert, these cinnamon rolls, ugh, god damn. You better chill out, bro. These, these bitches look scrumptious. These things look like the final scene on Pornhub. The disrespect for peanut butter and jellies today is just insane. Inside of a hard boiled egg? I know some of these are jokes, but some of you guys need serious, serious help. Okay, cigarettes on a sandwich. Um, eh, stay away from me. Hmm. My first question, what part of Arkansas are you from? Second question. I don't have a second question. Chicken Xanax sandwich. Well, this video just got demonetized. Uh, look, one bite out of this and you're waking up a full SoundCloud rapper. You got a full face tat, just a Dodge Charger tattooed across your face. I made her dinner and she's on a, uh, I can't read. I made her dinner and she is unappreciative, never again. Hear me out, maybe. It's because that plate looks like it was found on the floor after a Super Bowl party. No offense, but Gordon Ramsay cannot hold my nuts in a kitchen, no cap. What is this? What, what, what is this? What are we doing here? Please help my family suffering. This quarantine got people losing it. This right here, straight jacket. Um, well, that was uh, oddly stressful. I thought I'd be hungry after this video. Now I just wanna go fight a palm tree. So stay safe out there, wash your hands, fucking subscribe to the channel. If you watch this far and don't subscribe, you're probably one of those psychopaths who cooks pizza in a pot of boiling water. You goddamn seek Jesus. All right, see you guys next quarantine.